Hey y'all, it is the Beard Thrift Machine today. Me and Kayla are gonna go pick up an auction haul and we're gonna do some thrifting, so stay tuned. All right guys, welcome if you're new to the channel. My name is Julian, also known as the Beard Thrift Machine here on YouTube and I buy stuff and flip it online to make YouTube videos about it. Today we have an auction that I picked up. I'll show you guys what I get. I got some good stuff, but I paid up for it too. And that's just how it is nowadays at these auctions. You gotta pay up to make, you know, maybe double your money. And we hit a couple thrift stores. We've already hit two. We're sitting in traffic for the other one and it is really, really bad traffic. There's a bad uh, accident right above where we're at. And we've been sitting here for what, about 30 minutes? About 30 or 40 minutes trying to get to this Goodwill. So we'll, we'll keep going there and uh, then we will show you all we're getting this Goodwill. We're gonna go a little thrifting, thrifting, thrifting. really talked about this. This thing's been rocking for a long time. And nobody's around it. It's very weird. Look at that! Look at that! Did a uh, look at that G Loomis that thing right there? That's that expensive uh, brand. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. And two two other hats. What is that? Oh, yeah. I like doing the package stuff. Ooh, it's soap. Ooh. Look at all this pollen down here in South Carolina. Whoa, pollen. All right, so we are back at the house and uh, we spent not all day, probably only a couple hours in the thrift stores. I think we hit four or five of them. Didn't find a whole bunch. I'll show you exactly what I found and the stuff we picked up at the auction. The auction did spend some money though. I spent like $245. And one of the things that I thought was gonna make me about $100 or 125 bucks, I literally just broke trying to fix it or mess with it. So I'll show you what that was about. And then I'll show you the stuff that we picked up and some off the wall stuff that I think would be pretty good in auctions on eBay. So let's go ahead and get started with the first items that we picked up. I do these types of videos just to show you the stuff that I pick up as a full-time eBay reseller and the stuff that actually makes me money usually online. I'm not you know, the best yet. I've only been doing this for about a year and a half. But some of this stuff definitely does make money. And I do so you can go out there and find some of these items, flip them for yourself and make some money. So let's go ahead and get started. So this one right here, you saw me pick up the Orvis. Now with Orvis, I haven't really picked up a whole bunch of their like um, newer things or anything like that. I pick up their older stuff and like definitely jackets from Orvis, but regular shirts I don't pick up anymore because they don't really sell that well for me. But this one's an older like canvas jacket with some really nice big buttons and a nice like lining on the inside and definitely a nice jacket and it's a large, it's like a chore, I call them like chore jackets because they have nice little pockets in them and stuff. So definitely a cool pickup there. I think there was a sole comp around like 35 to 50 bucks on one of these. And then you did see me pick up this reel and the guy was like right there, put it out and I immediately grabbed this because these Daiwa's made in Japan are pretty decent. And this one is a Daiwa G S15 and it also comes like with the Daiwa rod on it right here, which I have to look that up. It's an 82 something something. So I'll definitely look that up. But I picked this whole setup only for 
$5.99, which is really good pricing. Uh, our price has been pretty high on stuff, but that was some pretty good pricing. Then I got these for 59 cents. This is a whole bunch of Starbucks. If I can find that, there you go. Starbucks, like reusable, uh, like Easter cups and stuff. And there's a whole bunch of them here with a whole bunch of different designs. So you got that one. And then just a whole bunch of things. I don't know really how much they're gonna go for. These will definitely be all lotted up and put on auction, probably starting at like, I don't know, 10 bucks, a dollar a cup, I'll double my money that way. And then whatever they go to, what they go to, if I double my money only on it, it is what it is. And then we did pick up three hats. This is a Callaway X-Bomb hat. That's actually pretty cool looking. And then this Super Bowl champion hat, NFL, new era. I don't know how much that'll go for, but I thought the print was really cool in the bill. So that's why I picked it up. But for two bucks, I thought that was worth the risk. And then I did pick up the G Loomis hat and this one has to be washed, but this does go, I think new this one goes for like 30 or 40 bucks and used probably, I don't know, that's a nice looking hat. This one might be uh, put in my collection. I'm, I got a thing with hats. Uh, so this one might be put in my collection. I don't know. And then let's go to the auction. That's the only stuff we picked up from the thrift store. Now the auction, this is the thing that I broke. These are the 35 millimeter cameras I picked up. This one is going to be the Pentex K1000 with a lens on it, with like a larger lens. I'll have to see exactly how much this thing goes for, but I think between like $75 and $100. And then this Canon, the one that I actually picked up and the reason why I bought the lot was the Canon AE-1. And as you can tell, the little battery door right here is broken. When I, It was not broken when I got it and I noticed there was a crack where I end up trying to press it and, and fix it and then boop, popped right open and now it won't close it actually is missing pieces pieces are falling out of it so definitely sad there i will probably buy a replacement door so i can fix this because this is going to be well worth fixing and then selling it for full price rather than actually just selling it you know with a broken door and it's getting way less because this should go for about 100 bucks if not more if we did get another lens i have to look up how much this lens goes for lenses are hit and miss they can be like worth a ton or worth absolutely nothing so i'll have to see how much that goes for and i did get another lens right here that i'll also look up and see how much this goes for then in the auction things were going super high last night uh and there was a callaway like bag and iron set that was insanely high i mean this stuff was going for like two i don't i think the ending bit was like 175 or 200 bucks for the bag that it, it wasn't really worth it but i got these for 20 bucks so I got one set for like five bucks and the other one for like $15. So a little bit over $20 with the fees and the Adams Golf right there, that's not bad. That's a tight lies. Um, degree is 15 degree. Then you got a tailor-made burner. You got a V steel. This one's pretty good. This one might go for about 25 to $30. And then also the Adams tight lies seven to seven woods, pretty good to pick up like no matter what. And this one will probably go for about 20 bucks. And then I did get some Callaway Big Bertha irons. You know, they're only eight irons and stuff in a five iron. But this, they still go for, you know, a decent amount of money. Probably, you know, 10 to $15 a piece. So that's 30 bucks right there. A couple with this. You know, it's probably over $100 in golf clubs. And I only paid 20 bucks for them. So definitely, uh, people were going after the sets and not the singles. But I don't mind selling singles. Because if you look, that's all the ones over there are mostly single golf clubs. So, uh, no married golf clubs. <laughs> no, just kidding. All right, so what we're moving on is this is the things that I bought that I don't know how well they're gonna do. I did look them up online, not any listed that are like this. So who knows, let me show you what I got. So these right here are uncut beer cans and they are like original and stuff. And there's a whole bunch of them and they're older. And I have a ton of them. Uh, I did spend some money on them though. I spent a hundred dollars on all of these thinking that they will go probably for about ten dollars a piece If they go for ten dollars a piece. I think I'll make around 300 bucks uh, But I don't know they might go less than that. They might go more than that So I definitely have to do my research on each individual once I mean the graphics on them are really nice though and very cool So I'm definitely gonna be looking at these, uh, some of them are like the wild Mustang. I have a couple wild Mustangs and I have a lot of the Iron City Brewery. I think that's gonna probably be in Pennsylvania, but I have a whole bunch of them just really neat. Some of them are bent like this one right here. You can tell there's a crease in it right there, but most of them are not bent at all. They're just flat aluminum. So definitely cool. I thought these were just cool enough to 
to make money on eBay. Like I said, $100 for all of them. I think that I'll be easily be able to get $10 a piece plus shipping. Shipping will be super light. This one right here, as you can tell, is a little bent, but not terrible. And uh, that's it. So I do these, again, videos to show you exactly what I pick up as a full-time eBay reseller to make some money. Hopefully, this has been educational. Hopefully, you learned something. Hopefully, you can go out there and find some of these items, pick them up for yourself, and make some money. And you know I'll always catch you on the next one.